So I was a journalist and I wrote some newspaper articles about the Gion Festival back in the early 90s. And then I wrote a few magazine articles. I got a scholarship to research it. And then because of red tape, the scholarship fell through. And I, but I got this idea of, of researching it for non-Japanese speakers. Because back in those days, it was really hard. We didn't have internet and uh, the Gion Festival language is very specialized. It wasn't in standard dictionaries. So even when people explained stuff to me, I couldn't really understand them. And at a certain point, I learned enough that I realized, oh, I, I should really share this with other people because it's not really doing that much. I, I'm enjoying it, but that's kind of selfish if I'm just enjoying it by myself. And it, I have seen a lot of non-Japanese kind of wandering around the festival looking perplexed. And because it is amazing to behold, and if you don't really know what you're looking at or what it's for, it's kind of frustrating. So I felt a certain amount of responsibility and, and privilege to be able to be the person to introduce it. And then because I'm so interested in the spiritual side of the festival and the different deities, and it's a great big purification ceremony. And you know, what does that mean? They've been doing a purification ceremony for a thousand years. What's the influence of that? I find that so fascinating. So I wanted to really put the focus back on the spiritual aspect because it's become quite touristy over the years.